Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another Rust video. Today we're going to have a look at the Smart Auto Locker 2.0. On the screen now you can see the list of components and the crafting costs to build this circuit. Now let's have a look and see what it does. We can see that it's pulling into the crafter the exact amount of material to craft the blueprint that it's put in so that there's nothing left over and then as it crafts it's going to pull it into our output box which will then pass it on to our locker setup so we'll speed it up it's just crafted our roadside jacket and then it's been passed off to the locker and at the same time we've switched out our blueprints automatically and we've put in our ingredients for our next blueprint which happens to be the medical syringe and again it's put in the exact amount required to build the amount of syringes that we want so there's nothing left over and we'll speed it up again and we'll see that it's going to fill up our output box and then once it's filled up the required amount it will again send that off to our locker and it will trigger the next blueprint in the sequence so there we go it's just triggered our exit conveyor and we can have a look at the locker here and see that indeed it's starting to fill up and we move back over to our production side and we can see that it has now moved on to the assault rifle blueprint and it has moved in the correct amount of materials to make the assault rifle we can have a look here at the conveyors and see what we have we have the blueprint for the item that we're going to craft and then we have the materials to craft the amount of that item that we wish and so once the conveyor for that item has been turned on it moves it into our buffer chest and you can notice in the buffer chest there is a pumpkin that's being circulated back and forth into the box and that will update our storage monitor which requires a new stack to update so it'll update every five seconds uh, once it's passed through our buffer chest it moves into our two conveyors that split it up into the ingredients and the blueprints and then it'll move those into the relevant parts of our industrial crafter and then once it's been crafted it gets moved to our output box where again we also have another looping system to update boxes storage monitor and from there when the storage monitor decides that the item has been received it will turn on the conveyor to send the items to our locker and it will then restart the circuit with the next blueprint uh, you can see here on the screen there is the design laid out in Rustrition. I'll have a link for that in the, the description. Uh, if you haven't used Rustrition before, it's a fantastic tool that you can use to map out your circuits, connect everything up, and you can test it out, and then you can also share it and export it to your friends. We're also using the Rust Plus bot. Uh, that's what's controlling the back end. It's receiving data from the storage monitors and then we're putting it through some logical code that we've written up and that is then sending back into the game to the smart switches to control our conveyors. You can see here on the screen now we have a some screen capture of the Rust Plus bot plugin studio. This is where you can write up your code to interact with the game API to interact with your smart devices. Uh, if you are interested in doing this, I'll link the uh, Discord and also the website for the uh, Rust Plus bot. It's a very powerful tool, especially now that we have the means to do some serious automation in the game with the new industrial modules. So I'll be interested to see what other people come up with. Anyway, let's now have a look at some of the benefits of this circuit. Firstly, it's expandable and uh, to expand it, you only need to add one conveyor and one smart switch and then you can add another item to your cycle of blueprints uh, of which you can craft anything. There's no leftover materials in the crafter so you can craft anything that uses all different types of material to craft. And the best one is the logic's done in the code. So you're saving on 
the materials to build your circuit and the time it takes because you can just copy paste the code. Anyway, thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully it's uh, opened your eyes to some of the cool new possibilities of things that we can be building with the new industrial rust combined with some of these awesome tools like uh, Rust Plus Bot. Um, if you got any comments, don't forget to leave them down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.